De'Aaron Fox, what a game. What a closing performance by Swipe of the Fox tonight in La La Land. Final score from Los Angeles, the Sacramento Kings get a big-time victory in L.A. against the struggling Lakers, 120-114. to 114. Let's talk about this game because it wasn't the perfect game. Um, I feel like we should have won by a lot, but a big part of that was uh, shots did not fall down the first half. But they got it going in the second half, and they executed and got defensive stops towards the end of the game to put this one away. And it was all about De'Aaron Fox. Tonight was all about Star Fox, 64. And 36 minutes tonight, Swybe had 32 points, 7 rebounds, 12 assists. Uh, Kevin Herter had 32 minutes. He had 16 points, 6 boards, 2 assists. Domonis Sabonis in the middle was a handful. 32 minutes, Big Sabonis had 21 points, 10 boards, 6 assists. HB was solid. 31 minutes, he had 13 points, 8 boards, 2 assists. And Keegan Murray had his only basket in the fourth quarter. And uh, he had two points in 26 minutes. He had one rebound, zero assists. More on Keegan a little bit. Take a look at the bench. Solid. Malik Monk, 21 minutes of work, eight points, one board, three assists. Davion Mitchell, 20 minutes of work, six points, zero rebounds, zero assists. Shemezi Metu got, gave Mike Brown good minutes tonight. Uh, 16 minutes, 10 points, five boards, zero assists. Trey Lyles got 15 minutes. He had zero points, two boards, one assist. But the main key player off the bench tonight was no other than Terrence Davis. TD was big time, make him believe. In 13 minutes, he had 12 points, zero rebounds, one assist. Now, I want to talk about the first half because I wasn't tripping at all, man. Uh, shots were not falling. We were getting so many good looks offensively from beyond the arc. And we still managed to make 12 double-digit three-pointers tonight. We had 12, 36, 33% overall for the, from that line, from the three-point line. Wasn't good, but... It, they got they got they started falling they started falling and you can sense the high turning especially in the late in the second quarter where De'Aaron Fox and Kevin Herter got it going and they made big shots uh, to turn the tide and the Kings were down by 13 at one point you know I knew this team was going to weather the storm because this is not like how we're going to go out like this to close out a half and Fox and Kevin Herter turned on the Jets and they got this lead cut down to f- four by halftime in the second half man. Uh, it just was close throughout the whole time. Uh, Anthony Davis played really well for the Lakers. Russell Westbrook played really well as well for the Lakers tonight. Uh, I thought Lonnie Walker was nice too. But LeBron James did not play tonight. Uh, he got hurt previously against the Clippers in the loss. And uh, tonight he was sitting on the bench and he took the loss sitting on the bench. So uh, Keegan Murray was 1-4 of four overall. I wanted to see Keegan Murray get it going offensively in the first half. And he just didn't take that many shots, man. And the shots that he got, they were good looks, but they didn't go in. So I don't know if it's a confidence thing for uh, the Rook, but the only pass he scored was in the fourth quarter, and it was nice. He got jiggy with it. Um, You know, crossed up, he had handles, and he finished with the left hand, went to the hoop. I liked what I liked that from Keegan Murray. And unfortunately, that was the only basket that he had tonight. But keep your head up, Rook. You're going to be fine moving forward. We're going to need you to get way more buckets than what you did tonight. And... You know, all this talk about De'Aaron Fox, you know, closing out, carrying tonight. He was fantastic late in the game down the stretch. And the fact that we went and executed tonight, went to De'Aaron Fox, it made me proud, man. It made me freaking proud because we've had bad habits in the past of going away from what's been working. But tonight, Mike Brown and coaching staff did a fantastic job of getting De'Aaron Fox in the pick and roll and letting him do work. And the shots that he took uh, were mid-range shots. I can live with that because that's his bread and butter. And some of the shots he had to fade away because he got switched up on Anthony Davis on a mismatch. And obviously Anthony Davis is taller than them, and he had to fade away, and they went in. They looked good tonight, on point, on target. Big game from De'Aaron Fox, man. This was a, a game where he is showing that he is leading. And he is showing that he is closing. I want to keep continue to see this now. We've seen a couple games. We've seen it, uh, and especially down the stretch in the closing. Uh, you know, if he's closing offensively or defensively, I want to continue to see it. Um, this was big time for uh, De'Aaron Fox tonight, man. I'm happy the fact that he carried tonight and he got us to a win. Uh, with that being said, guys, we're five and six now. Uh, great. 
great stand of basketball for the Sacramento Kings these last uh, six games. And uh, we got a good one Sunday. We got the Golden State Warriors on Sunday. Uh, should be a fun and exciting game. I hope this team comes out firing on all cylinders, uh, knowing that we lost a close one in a controversial call against the Warriors last week. I hope that's still in our heads, and I hope that we come out and I uh, hope we get the dub next game. So I'm looking forward to that Sunday. Let me know your guys' thoughts on tonight's game. Uh, great, great win in L.A. Like I said, man, anytime you can take get a win in L.A., it's always great, not only for the team but for its fan base as well. So, yes, I am wearing the new city Sacramento edition jerseys. I got mine yesterday, and I got a Demona Sabonis one, and these are fired. These are clean. You got the Dow Patch logo right there, the Nike logo right there, and – it's just, it matches my hat. I, I mean, seeing pictures of this online, I wasn't too sure about it at first. I'm like, uh, I don't know. But actually seeing it in person and actually feeling it and the material of it, uh, there's some pretty cool Easter eggs on this jersey. I love it, man. I love it a lot. It actually, I'm tempted to buy another one. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the Kings wear these jerseys on the court. And uh, these are fresh. These are fire, man. These are probably uh, one of the best jerseys that we've dropped uh, ever in our existence of the organization so with that being said that's gonna do it for, me for today's video i greatly appreciate you guys tuning in uh, again let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section below uh great win in la over the lakers let's come back home let's keep this going sunday night against the golden state warriors at home and sacramento kings man great win sacramento proud tonight and always go kings Take care, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.